All right, thanks for tuning back in, folks. We're going to talk about record sets in VBA. And this is video one, we're going to look at this actually is the last module in the the VBA uh, tutorial class. And uh, thanks for thanks for staying with us through the whole thing. Hopefully you saw everything. Uh, this we may have to divide up in three videos, but uh, the record sets of VBA. First, we're going to look at working with record sets. What is a record set? Well, a record set is a set of records, and it'd be comparable to a table. Let's say uh, a table is the only thing in an access database or any database for that matter that holds actual data. So, uh, a record set is a collection of data, and we have a DAO record set, or data access objects, or active data objects, which is ADO, and that's one of the newer technologies, ADO. But we're working with the uh, access database. It's it's better to work with the uh, DAO, contrary to popular opinion, because uh, you're already using it's easier to work with, and you're already in the jet engine already. So uh, it's better to work is more streamlined to work with ADO outside of it. like if you're working with that you're trying to interact with data from a uh, website for that matter so uh, let's go in to our database and we will go and I'll have some uh, I'll have some of these diagrams that we're talking about in the code on VBA how to.com in our code here we have a, a a sample of a DAO record set okay uh, and I wrote here this is the easiest way to do the record set in access because we're in the jet engine here access is uh, it runs off the jet jet engine not an airplane but jet and so uh, I can I could put in here I could be real specific about my record set I could say this is a DAO record set so I'm declaring RST as a DAO record set. It's a storage storage item I can put my record set in and I declare a variable referencing the object RST. You now you remember this you already have a current database connect connection, okay? And you have to use a set command to actually create and use the object. So now we're gonna set this record set equal to whatever our current database is that connection we're going to set it to that connection of our current database and open record set and the table is is customers because we do have a table called customers and uh, again we're working with a with the Northwind database this tells us to move to the first record RSD move first as a method of the of the record set object. Now notice that if I press the dot, I see all these methods I can I can look at. Uh, we'll be covering all these methods because uh, we don't need to. Uh, because we're just going to cover some of the most frequently used ones. Okay, and we're going to cover first the move first. So we're going to move the, the first line in the record set. And then we're going to go in uh, for each line, whenever each line, until the end of the file, EOF, that's the end of the file, until the record set dot EOF, and we're going to print out the, the this field, okay, this field, and that corresponds to a field in the table, I'm going to show you what that is, okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up my table here. And look at the uh, customer table. Bang. Customers. We have all these different fields here. Now notice that these right here are captions. Okay. Company space name. Contact name. We're going to look at the in design view. You'll actually see what the field name is called. Now reference this when you're referencing that object. Okay. Company no space name. All right. Now back at my code here, 
I am looking at, we're trying to loop through the table here and print out the, the company name field. And then uh, we're moving to the next line, RST move next, and then we're looping through it. Okay, now we will have to, we will have to continue on to our next video. Uh, but I want to go ahead and press F5, and we're going to see that in the, here in the immediate window, we're going to have every line in the database, or in that table, which are 91. And this is a garbage collection item, rsc.close, and then rsd setting it back to nothing. So, that is... That is the DAO record set object, and uh, next we're going to go back over that and review, look over the ADO and uh, some form information. If you want the code, please come out to vbahowto.com and be sure to rate or comment to this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, see you in the next video.